Okay, so I did my left brow off camera. This is my problem brow. She requires a lot of attention, a lot of one-on-one -on -one support. So I typically have to just focus when I'm doing her. Uh, but my right brow, however, we'll do together. I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. The Anastasia, what exactly is this called? Brow Freeze. Very good stuff. And then good old Faithful Matte Concealer. I have been using this for like, I don't know, 13 years maybe. So I just start by brushing my brows up. I'm just using the other side of the Precisely My Brow Pencil. It actually has a spoolie on it. Um, and I will brush this up to kind of show myself what I'm working with. I actually need my brows done right now, but I typically don't get them done very often just because I like my fuller brows. So I will start at the bottom and kind of just create the shape of my brow. Very, very soft strokes going over the entire brow. Okay, so now that I have like the basic shape of my brow, I will go through and just kind of fill it in. Again, very short strokes, very lightly handed. I try to typically aim for using the bottom of the pencil because the closer you are to the tip is the more pressure you'll apply. So I always go to the bottom of the pencil and use short strokes. And then for the front, same thing. I just aim it upwards to give it like a more natural defined look. With my brow freeze, I will go in and use the spoolie and just kind of brush my brow hairs up a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more natural and also set the brow in place. All right, now that my brows are completed and I look absolutely nuts, um, I go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I use this faithfully. Um, and I will just apply this on my face. <laughs> When my primer is applied, I'm going to go in with NARS Color Correcting Concealer. I believe this is the Natural Radiant Radiant Creamy Color Corrector. Um, and this is in the shade Medium Deep. As you can see, I have like old acne scarring. I'm darker around my mouth. The color correcting kind of like balances out my skin um, so that when I apply foundation or concealer, whatever it is, it applies without you seeing all of the blotches. So I will just go in with the color corrector here um all on my acne scarring notice look for any like areas or spots that i may have missed um, I typically don't really break out, but I do have a lot of old acne scars. You can use a brush. I just prefer beauty blenders. Now that's blended out, you'll still see traces of orange, which, which is totally normal. Um, you just have to, just gotta kind of trust the process. Once that's all blended in, I do go in with foundation. Today, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath foundation. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Um, and I am in the shade Medium Deep 24. I like to apply my foundation in the back of my hand. Um, I actually learned this tip from a makeup artist years ago. Um, she advised that warming up the foundation, once it comes in contact with your skin, 
it typically blends better. So I always apply it on the back of my hand um, to kind of give it like my body temperature so that it blends better. And then I just move this up to my forehead. Let you go, go, go. Let you right, now that my foundation is basically all blended out, it is time for me to do my favorite part, conceal. And highlight, I'm going to use two concealers. I'm going to use the Born This Way. This is in the shade Maple. And I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape for a little bit brighter. This is in the shade 42S tan sand so first i'm gonna take the darker one which is maple and i'm just gonna apply this right underneath my eye and i still like to draw a triangle because i need all of the coverage i can get okay i need all of it <laughs> I'm also gonna apply it down the bridge of my nose. Up top of my forehead. Above my lip. And on my chin. So it's basically highlighting just the middle parts of your face. Um, and then I'm going to take the brighter highlighter, which is in Tan Sand. This is the 42S by Shape Tape. And I'm just going to put this right here in the front of my eye. Right here in the front of my eye. On the outside. Here. And then on the outside here. Above my nose. And right here, down the bridge of my nose. And on my forehead. Now I'll give that a few seconds to dry down. And then I'll come back and blend it all out. While that's drying down, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. This is what I use to contour my face. Um, I'm actually running low. <laughs> Um, so I go from the tip of my ear down, tip of my ear down, and then I go up here on my hairline a little bit just to bring some warmth back to my skin. I typically will do my nose last after I've already done the blending out of the concealer. The same beauty blender that I was using for my foundation. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna blend out my face. Now that that's all blended out, I'm actually a huge creaser underneath my eyes. So I, to avoid any sort of creasing, will go in immediately with my powder and start pressing it in to let it set. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender Pocket Puff and the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. This is in the shade Tan Deep. And I'm just going to use this right underneath my eyes. Press this in. excessive right but let me tell you girl she creases okay all right now that that's in i actually go in again with another powder this is the huda beauty powder it's a setting powder loose setting powder this is in the shade kunafa um so i will go in with this And press this right over the Charlotte Tilbury powder.
love my highlighter setting. I'm actually going to go in with my blush. This I actually really love this palette, by the way. This is the NARS Summer Unrated palette. It has Dominate in it, which is a beautiful blush for brown skin. And the shade Cypress, it's a bronzer, which is what I used to bronze out my espresso shade from Fenty. Um, so I'm just going to go in with those. I will actually use um, a powder brush because it's just a little bit more full. Um, this is by e.l.f. actually, um, one of my favorite brushes. And I'm just going to kind of add some blush here onto the side right on top of the apples of my cheeks which is like between the highlight and between the contour um this br blush is actually very powerful so i don't typically need to use a ton but it's very pretty <laughs> And for my eyes, I'm not a huge eyeshadow girl. I just, who has the time, really and truly? Um, I can do it if I need to do it. Like some days, there are days where I just want to put on like a smoky eye or something. But 99% of the time, I'm all about skin. I could care less about eyeshadow, to be honest with you. So it's not something that I focus my attention on to. Um, I got to be in a real good mood to, <laughs> to put on some eyeshadow. Um, what I will do is apply bronzer to my crease area. And I use just that same big brush and just go back over my crease area, add in whatever sort of like depth and dimension I can add in. While I'm waiting for the glue on my lashes to get tacky, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep away all of the under eye powder. Um, that's on my nose and underneath my eyes. I'm going to use this big e.l.f. powder brush um, to kind of just sweep it away. And as you can see, I don't have any underlying creases or anything like that. Just swept it all away and I'll use whatever's left on the brush to kind of just brush out my forehead, down my nose, underneath my chin here and on top of my lip. So I will apply my lashes off camera <laughs> uh, and I'll be right back. Now that my lashes are applied, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in to just set my face. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Best stuff in the world, I love it. I've been using it faithfully for two years now? Two, yeah, like two years. Um, so just go over, spray my entire face. Let that set to kind of like melt everything into the skin, you know? Then for lip products, for lip liner, I'm going to use NYX Lip Liner and Espresso. This is like my go-to. Um, it's affordable. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Pat McGrath's lipstick in the shade Christie, which is just like a nudie pink. And you really only need a little bit because it's super pigmented. And then I'm gonna go in with Artist Couture lip gloss in Striptease, which is also just like another nudie pink, baby pink color. <laughs> And, all right and then i'm gonna pop just like a little bit of highlight on my nose i'm actually using the artist couture um eyeshadow palette this is the shade lavish it's a really good highlight <laughs> this is basically the look this is what i do literally every time i'm getting ready to go out or just want to put on a full face 
<laughs> this is the look that I do. Um, pretty much the products stay consistent. If anything changes, I'll let y'all know. But this has been my go-to, I guess you want to call it like soft glam look. This is this is her. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.